When was the last time you changed your pet's litter box or cleaned your dog's food bowl with soap and water? Along with their unconditional love comes fur, dander, dirt, and grime. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Dog Nation where we enrich you with all the knowledge you should have if you're a by-heart dog lover. We hope we'll be able to answer all your questions in our videos and would love to learn from you guys also. So please share your thoughts and queries with us in the comment section below and do subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, you can send pictures of your furry friends on the email listed in the description to get them featured on our channel. So without any wait, let's start with the video. Keeping your home clean when you have pets is a challenge for even the most neat pet owner, not to mention individual toys, dishes and grooming items that need to be sanitized. Let's be honest, sometimes one or the other duty can get lost. This video covers important pet-related chores you should do on a regular basis. Do so not only to keep your space beautiful and smelling great, but also to ensure the health of your loved ones, furry and human alike. Wash your pet's bedding In addition to being a magnet for collecting fur, dirt and grime, bedding can also harbor flea eggs, larvae, mites and other skin parasites. Help keep it to a minimum by washing it. This task is especially important if you or someone in your family suffers from asthma or allergies. Vacuuming between cleanings is a good thing, but to reduce the risk of spreading infections, the dog's bedding should be thoroughly cleaned. Linen should be washed weekly or, when soiled, with a mild detergent that does not contain perfumes or dyes. The water temperature is 130 degrees or more and the futon drying is about 20 minutes with high heat. Wash hands after contact Now shower your pet with love and attention. Remember to wash your hands after playing, eating and cleaning up. This reduces the spread of diseases that require ingestion as a route of transmission. Washing your hands with soap and water can reduce your risk of contracting a number of zoonotic diseases including E. coli, Salmonella, Cryptosporidia and Ringworm. Keep soap or dispensers in different areas of your home to remind yourself to wash your hands. Store pet food correctly You don't eat leftover food all night, so why would your pet do that? Dry dog food can be contaminated with salmonella, which can lead to serious illness if infected in humans. The young, the elderly, and those with weakened immune systems are especially at risk. Dry foods should be stored in airtight containers. The same applies to wet food. This too should be refrigerated, as once opened, it promotes bacterial growth at room temperature. Extra care should be taken when feeding pets raw food. Raw food should be handled very carefully. Otherwise, there's a high risk of severe bacterial contamination that can cause illness. Do not store open food outdoors or in the garage. Open food attracts rodents that can contaminate the food with feces and parasites. Clean dishes and water dishes Do you think countertops, cutting boards and faucet handles are the places with the most germs in your home? When your pet eats or drinks food, saliva spreads bacteria. If not cleaned properly, bacteria can grow and cause illness in pets and children who play in the bowl. How often should you clean your pet's bowl? They should be put in the dishwasher or hand washed, but if your pet leaves clumps of food in the bowl, you may need to do this more often to avoid excessive bacterial growth. Other experts such as foodsafety.gov recommend washing the bowls daily between meals and water bowls once or twice a day. Extra care should be taken when cleaning automatic water bowls as mold can build up and cause gastrointestinal problems or discourage cats from drinking, says Olson. A nasty mold builds up on the filter, which is not good for any animal. Wash and replace pet toys Another item that made our list of dirty places was pet toys, which can attract E. coli, yeast and mold. If you don't clean pet supplies, constant skin contact with soiled items can lead to localized skin infections. Clean hard toys with hot soapy water and disinfect with a mild bleach solution. And don't forget to rinse thoroughly. You can throw your stuffed animal pet toy into the washing machine. However, if it becomes damaged or worn and poses a danger to your pet, it should be replaced. For example, they can absorb polyester stuffing from stuffed toys. Collars should also be machine washed every four to six weeks to match grooming. Clean the outdoor space. Picking up dog poop isn't anyone's favorite activity, which may be why poop scoops stay in business. But it should be done as soon as possible, especially if children are playing in the area. Children are more likely than adults to put their hands in their mouths without washing them, making them more likely to get small amounts of garden feces into their bodies. You should be careful. Remember to wear gloves and use a poop-removing tool or earth-friendly dog waste bags 
to avoid contact with feces. Use the right kind of cleaner. What you clean with is just as important as how often you clean. Some household cleaners are toxic to pets. Examples include drain cleaners, dishwashing detergent concentrates, scale removers, oven cleaners, and toilet cleaning concentrates. Ordinary soap and water will suffice. Diluted bleach solution is an excellent disinfectant for heavy soiling. For convenience, you may also want to consider natural cleaning products designed specifically for pet owners. Rely on natural enzymes to remove pet stains and odors, and grapefruit seed to disinfect surfaces. Some people resort to extracts. Clipping Dog Coat Pruning is done to give your pet a new look. The only point is that you have to do it right without hurting your pet, so you have to be proficient in doing it. Mistakes should not be made, as they can change the appearance of your pet. For proper clipping, speak to him calmly and create a friendly environment around him. You can also distract his attention from the clipping process to get it done correctly. If the clippers annoy the pet, you can purchase clippers that make less noise. To make the process easy, cut your dog's fur as per the natural growth of your dog. If you want to give a more unique look to the lovely pet, use curved or textured scissors. Special care for breeds with droopy eyes and floppy ears. As a grooming professional, you should know that some special breeds require extra care. The care you learn cannot be applied equally to all dogs. Some pets require special care. Knowing this will set you apart and impress pet owners. It lets them know that you're very well trained at your job. Use a gentle ear cleaner tool. Along with removing wax, it keeps the ear tips clean and dry. If you live in a city, their ears will pick up a lot of dirt from the sidewalk. Make sure the eyes are clear of any discharge. Moreover, their lower lids should never be fiery red or angry looking. They may always be a little pink, and yes, there should not be persistent tearing or discharge. Clean their teeth. Just like us, dogs can get plaque and a very bad breath, so they need to brush their teeth too. Bacteria naturally settles on the teeth of both humans and animals after each meal, leading to the buildup of plaque and tartar. If your dog's teeth are not cleaned regularly, this tartar can lead to discomfort in the mouth. Be a good pet parent, brush your dog's teeth with dog enzyme toothpaste two to three times a week, and use dental mouthwash daily. Remove the goop. Yes, the dreaded goop, which is also known as excess tear or discharge that collects in your dog's eyes. Some dogs are more prone to goop than others, for example, like light-colored dogs such as Bichon Frise, Cavachon, or breeds such as Boxers and Pugs. To remove this excess tear leakage, Firstly, loosen it by applying a warm cloth to the eye, then followed by a flea comb to brush it out. This should do the trick. Wash their face. Dogs sniff their way through life and therefore can pick up germs easily around their face and mouth. Dogs such as Sharpays, Pugs and Dog de Bordeaux, who have wrinkly faces, will hold more dirt and moisture in their wrinkles, so it's important to keep a regular face wash routine. A damp face cloth and a drop of dog shampoo will do the job. Try to avoid the eye area, as just like humans, they won't like the shampoo stinging their eyes. We recommend washing your dog's face at least three times per week to help keep up good hygiene. If you live with animals, keeping a clean home is essential for their well-being and yours. Doing some basic housekeeping chores can help prevent the spread of diseases and keep your pets healthy. You don't need to toil away for hours to make a difference either. Following these simple tips promote good health and a grime-free home. That's all in this video. See you next time with interesting information about dogs and don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel.